believe now everybody uh, live streaming is on uh we we would love to go back to our office i mean even the person who hated to go to office is now eagerly waiting to go back to the office <clears throat> however as you have heard that lot of companies uh, are now changing their work model even in july august i don't know which which month government will allow us to go back to our office maybe may maybe june but even when the uh, circular will come that you are free to go attend your office i don't think any of you will have the courage to uh, freely go uh, travel in the public transport or even if you have your own uh, car it will be difficult for uh, for you to go back to your office and uh, i mean <clears throat> do the work as you people used to do 3 4 months back because we don't know who is the covid patient around us there are people who are without symptoms who can be a carrier to the coronavirus and we can get infected so what i can expect that almost another 6 months maybe 6 months maybe one year our entire lifestyle will change and we will be working more from home rather than from the office one of the biggest it company in india that is tcs who has around few lakhs of people working in uh, within the country and outside the country they have declared that 75% of their workforce will be working from home and that they are trying to act, act, i mean uh, they are trying to make this happen by 2025 year 2025 and not only tcs lot of other companies are exploring how this can be possible because they will save on the office space they will save on electricity and the uh, daily time for commuting can be saved lot of energy can be saved so be it our it companies or the uh, academia even the students are slowly getting familiar with online education i believe there was a uh, certain amount of uncomfort in uh, going for online education people always wanted to go to the classroom have the teacher face to face and clarify your doubts but slowly that model is changing people have understood that even after the lockdown is over they cannot go back to the classroom so they have to accept this new style of learning this new style of doing work so be it the student life be it service life we have to adopt this work from home culture so over the coming months the faculty members the fellow students who are present over here you will see that you will be trapped within the house within uh, within your four walls is good one one sense that you are more with your family the family time has increased but we we have to understand that since we are within our house and now our entire communication our entire work everything is dependent on the digital platform like even if we want to talk to our friends we have to use uh, skype we have to use whatsapp call if we want to do our job we have to do it from our home if we want to buy some food we have to use swiggy if we have to make a payment somewhere we are using paytm there is no cash there is no delivery there is nothing who i mean which uh, which you can uh, just physically walk out uh, around your house your locality and uh, do it so enter the digital platform the digital india that the central government our modi uh, government was trying to push now this has become a part of our life we never knew that this will come so soon but now this is a part of our life and we are heavily dependent on this digital platform digital india but are we really ready for it i believe no ina madam has already told lot of things about me i will add few more things like i work very closely with the lalbazar police department and also the bhavani bhavan cid i work very closely with the law enforcement lot of case studies comes to us and you will be surprised you will be shocked to know that our since the lockdown has started 
the cyber crime rate has increased by 220%. Just imagine. <clears throat> so now is the paradise for the hackers and the people who are victimized by cyber crime that has gone up by 220%. So it is bad time. This is something new. We don't know what are the do and don'ts and we are making a lot of mistakes. So this session, madam has requested me being an ethical hacker. Again, I will not go into the details of who is an ethical hacker, but we protect companies. Basic, mostly we work with the uh, corporates like Apollo Hospital, uh, Amri, CSC, Spencer, <clears throat> your Novodiganto, they are also our clients. So we help these companies to stay secure. We don't work in the B2C other than our huge trading department where we train around 1200 people. Now, this session, I will try to uh, focus on the B2C. What that does mean? That means in your personal life, what are the things you should do and shouldn't which are the hotspot, what is happening Live at the streaming hospitals. Is on. So to find this information about the COVID or coronavirus hotspot uh, spreading of the disease, we are practically clicking on each and every link that is forwarded to us. And I believe the first thing you do in the morning is you check your WhatsApp. I think before even we talk to our spouses and our children, the, the thing that we do first thing in the morning is to check our hot WhatsApp. And then what we do, we start forwarding all those interesting WhatsApp messages with video uh, link, your images. And that happens till this good morning forward keep on happening till the afternoon. That is 12 o'clock. So what do you forward? You forward all types of messages around the COVID. Now you will be surprised to know most of the links that are getting coming to WhatsApp, to your WhatsApp are link of websites which practically can hack your mobile. I have given a few examples over here. You will see that coronavirusmap.com. This is one site. Uh, this is one of the examples. Now, if you go to this site, as it looks like a very simple site, a coronavirusmap.com on a world map or maybe a Calcutta map. If you click on this site, immediately a malware will be downloaded into your mobile, in your laptop or your desktop and and Whatever you do after that in that laptop, desktop or mobile, that data will go to the hacker. So what has to be done? Do not click on random links. The only link to get the right information are the links which has .gov.in, that is government sites. .gov.in, if you find that in the URL, those sites are trusted. Every other site, so almost 200 sites are coming up every day on the internet. If you click on those random links, there's a high chance that you are infecting your mobiles or laptops. Now, interestingly, your mobile doesn't have any antivirus. I believe most of the participants who are present over here, almost 90% of the participants don't have an antivirus in your mobile. But your laptop desktop has an antivirus. So if there is a malware in your laptop desktop, there is a high chance that the antivirus will catch it and alert you. But if that same thing happens in your mobile, your mobile will be a sitting duck and no, no alert will come to you. You will never come to know about the problem and your mobile is infected and in the hands of the hacker. Now you see 60-70% of our digital uh, footprint is through the mobile, not through the laptop desktop. Most of the WhatsApp you go do, do through mobile. You check your Facebook through mobile. You check your Instagram through mobile. You check the tweeters through mobile. Any news that comes to you first comes to your mobile and then maybe you go and check in your laptop desktop. If you want to travel, you will need a Ola Uber that you do through mobile. If you want to order online food, you do Swiggy through mobile. If you want to make a payment, you do a Paytm through mobile. So 60 to 70% of our dependency is on our mobile. And that is the least secure device in our digital world. It is our complete negligence that we think that the mobiles are safe. We do not need anything else over there. While that is the most unsafe or insecure device that you are carrying in your hand. Now, see, other than this, uh, this particular sites, there are a lot of apps which are, which people are trying to uh, install. 
previously at the beginning of the covid uh, this lockdown people started downloading an app called covid info now again these type of apps which you get even on the play store app store some of these apps were nothing but ransomware now how come there be a ransomware in your mobile now this works in a very different way this doesn't lock the data what does a mobile ransomware do a mobile ransomware simply locks the screen and you would have to pay the money uh, some money to the hacker in form of bitcoin to get unlock the screen so everything is locked your contact your sms your whatsapp every bit of information is locked not a single information is locked directly but just the screen is locked so a, 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 again when you go and uh, download install any app in your mobile make sure that it's a valid app it's not a fake app how do you know that now i have made a simple uh, picture over here i will show to us to you suppose you go to an app store and see this type of apps this app is installed so it is showing uninstall and open if it was not installed then it would have shown install now if you go and look into this app how will you know whether this app is a fake app a malware or a valid app the first flag that you need to check is how many downloads and how many ratings and review any good popular app will have more than a million download now see if you look very carefully over here i'll show you the number of downloads is showing 100 there cannot be a app which is valid and which has 100 download it has to have a million download if it is not there don't trust that app second the number of rating you can see 43 people have rated this app which is an absurd absurd number if this app is a popular app then definitely it will be more than a million rating uh, people who will be rating this app okay. other than that when you <clears throat> install this app the third flag that you need to check what type of permission this app is taking from my mobile any app that you want to install will pop up the permission list and if you see that the mobile is that app is taking permission of your microphone your webcam and your sms then that can be very dangerous why <clears throat> i will give you some more examples later on but if i get access to your webcam and your microphone then that app can be always listening to what you are saying the app can switch on the webcam and start taking mms and you have a you have a webcam on both sides of the mobile so how will you stop the recording the most dangerous part is that if you have given a sms permission a permission to the sms to that random app you have practically given the permission to your bank otp because your bank otp is nothing but sms so what we have seen that since the lockdown started people started downloading a lot of mobile games and this is actually exponentially has gone up people are downloading mobile games they got bored they have downloaded astrology software they have downloaded tiktok they have downloaded different chinese apps i mean people want to get entertained now the only people who you, who you people are entertaining are the hackers because they if they can come up with a nice interesting app you will take a bait you will download that app you will install it and you have given a full access to your mobile and in that same mobile you are using for Swiggy, for Paytm, for bank transaction, for, I don't know, keyword can, uh, scan, uh, code scan, for any type of monetary transaction. And you are using that mobile as an e-wallet. Every mobile that you have in your hand is basically money. Because through that mobile, you are placing orders. You are actually sending money. So that mobile is nothing but an e-wallet and you have uh, on i mean willingly have given permission to the entire uh, mobile by installing an app by by clicking on a bait and installing an app which most likely is owned by a hacker so be very careful from next time when you install a random app a random game mobile game or tiktok or god knows whatever comes your way you keep on installing that in your mobile right i will go back to my old slide 
what are the different type of other scams which are going on the second scam that we saw uh, which has grown very rapidly is like e-commerce sites trust me since government sent the circular that liquor shops will be open people in calcutta lost 3 lakhs within 2 days they started putting orders for on, uh, online e-commerce sites for home delivery of liquor and 50 to 60% of those sites were fake sites now i will not assume that most of the people participants over here are have will go and place an order for liquor or crazy about liquor but what happened what the hackers took a uh, psychological advantage n95 mask or surgical mask was very much necessary it became a mandate by the government and everybody was looking for such masks now what happened as soon as the masks were not available on the at, at, at the shops there are a lot of fake e-commerce sites which uh, were created and which were uh, displaying uh, availability of this mask and many people who have placed bulk order of mask on this type of fake e-commerce site lost a lot of money so what ideally they should have done in this time they should only believe in cash on delivery never ever use a credit card debit card on an unpopular not so known e-commerce site if it's a very popular e-commerce site then it is okay otherwise never ever go for debit card credit card uh purchase always go for a cash on delivery otherwise you might lose a lot of money <clears throat> next what has happened the fourth problem that has happened is the bank emi again the moment government of uh, the banks declared that they can defer the emi again don't go for the emi deferment it's almost like a uh, something you will lose a lot of money Uh, if you defer for three months ultimately you will be paying off at least 14 to 15 emis extra so that i learned when i went to a tv talk show and there was a bank employee who actually told explained to us that if you defer this three months emi ultimately you will cash i mean you will pay up with more than 14 15 emis so but there are a lot of people who went for this bank emi uh, deferring and what happened the hackers started calling they started calling at your mobile that i am calling from the customer support if you want the deferring of your emi please fill up this form and that form has all the confidential information like your name your mother's maiden name your address your date of birth and keep in mind these are the information which will be needed if you forget your pin number and you have to authenticate yourself in phone banking if you go for phone banking and you forget the pin they will ask the same questions to authenticate you and these questions you are filling up that form and giving it to a hacker so that they can pose as you and call the phone banking and authenticate themselves so if you want to defer your emi always go to google search for the bank that you have an account and if you go to that particular bank site from that site every bank every respective bank has put up a form on the home page or there's a link on the home page which you can click and fill up the form to defer the emi never ever click on a link which has come through a whatsapp or an sms or an email and asking you to fill up a form to defer the emi you will get into a trap and you will lose a lot of money right now next the part is i already told you about not forward this because you are making this malware links viral you are sending it to your friends who trust you and they will get infected as much as uh, your device will get infected okay now now interestingly i'll go to the first part of my slide and let's come into a little bit more interesting topic okay can you see my blank screen uh, madam can you see my google screen yes madam can yes can yes can you see yes, my yes. screen google yes yes are you taking are you saying my viewing my ppt or the google google screen google screen now google chrome is open in front of us cool 
right so let me show you something i am going to yahoo mail and i am writing my i am ssg okay i am going to next it will authenticate me as i am not a robot it will go through an intermediary intermediate process okay okay just wait for me i i'm showing you something very interesting i'm giving you a live demo what can happen if you save your password maybe some of you uh, from computer science background can I, i can actually understand what is happening but all the people who are not from the computer science background will be shocked that this can happen to you <clears throat> okay they have gone through another level of images hold on this is a car this is a car okay okay right now i am coming to my uh, page where they will be asking for the password how many of you save your password like this so that when the page will come your password is already there may it be gmail may it can be uh, facebook can be other any sites so you have already saved your password what you have to do you have to click on submit and immediately your you come to your inbox or to your home page so if you have saved your password like this it is very dangerous to do you just right click on this go to in- inspect the code will open so in that code you change type type from pass password to text and click on enter and see immediately the password your password like this if you save your password any browser any operating system this password can be stolen within 2 seconds so if you already have your password go to the setting and you remove it just go to the setting you will click on on the top right you click on the uh, setting and then you go to the clear password or clear browsing data click over here and just clear all the data otherwise you can actually face you can this password can be stolen now let us show you one more thing if you have a gmail or any facebook or any type this type of software it is always good to uh always good to go to this tool and okay just give me one minute right go to this tool and go to accounts if you go to if you are have a gmail account click on the top right section and, and click on accounts i believe all of you can see my account right where i am clicking click on account if you click on account this page will come click on security if you click on security it will come to a page which says that two step verification now i have kept this off to just to show you by default two factor authentic if you want your password uh, if you want your account to be safe you must always activate this two step verification what will happen if you activate this two step verification even if the hacker hacks your password get access to your password they use the id and password and try to log in into gmail and otp will come to your mobile and since the hacker doesn't have your mobile and doesn't get access to that otp your account can never get hacked so all the people who come to me and tell me my gmail has got hacked this is the way you can make it 100% hack proof just go to accounts security and enable the two factor two step verification and this feature is available in on face 
Facebook available on every popular site. But keep it in mind by default, it, you it go to the setting and switch it. Otherwise, your account is vulnerable, highly vulnerable. Use any other portal. If you see, you have signed in using Google. Like I, I usually don't sign into any site using Google. But suppose I go to this page and I see, I believe I have logged in into only one site using Google. Let me see which sites I have logged in using Google. Okay, my since I'm taking up this session, it has become a low. I'm using mobile tethery. So if you go to this page, it will show all the sites where you have used Google to log in. Immediately log off from site using register yourself, have an ID password. Don't use Facebook Google to log into other portals. Okay. Come back to my what else you can do? Most importantly, what are the media uh, connecting to the internet? Using a home wife, a home router, or your mobile. If you are having a home, be very careful. What is ID password for that router? When was the last time you have changed the password for that router? If you have a home Wi-Fi system, please change the password. If you don't change the password, a hacker can hack it within 30 days. If you are using a mobile dongle or uh, you are doing a tethering from your uh, remove that tethering, you stop that tethering. Otherwise, what will happen? That tethering is switched on. Your router is switched on 24 into 7 and the hacker has ample time to break it. If you switch it off when you are not using it, then hacker doesn't have access to it. He doesn't have all the time to do a brute force and try to break into it. So if you have a internet connection, and the home Wi-Fi, you switch it off when you are not using it and change the password every 30 days and never ever use that admin admin or admin 123 password. Same with your CCTV. If you are having CCTV, which you can see through your, you can watch through your mobile, you keep in mind that hacker can also use the same CCTV. They can watch you from their mobile. If you have installed a CCTV at your home and office and you can watch it from your Android mobile or iPhone, they don't have the only the password. But how long it will take to break that password, to brute force that password. So again, if you have a CCTV where you can watch remotely, change the password every 30 days or people are watching you, whatever you are doing inside your home. Next part is like, Did you take a backup of your uh, data? Sometimes I see people have taken a backup in the hard disk in pen drive. What if that, that pen drive is lost? It have some potential photos, video, document, uh, message in the cooler pen drive and you don't hand off others. So what you can do, there's a nice tool called Veracrypt. You can see at the last line of my slide, Veracrypt, it's a free tool that is used to encrypt a part of your hard disk or your USB drive. So keep a folder in your USB or hard disk, which you can say confidential. So keep all the confidential photo in that particular folder and you can use this Veracrypt tool. It is very easy to use. Just select the folder and say encrypt, it will get encrypted. So when you want to decrypt, you have to use the same Veracrypt to decrypt it. So if, the, if you lose that pen drive or that hard disk, if it goes to somebody else's hand, he will not be able to see all those photos which you don't want him to see. If you, uh, otherwise you can use like Google Drive or Dropbox to, if your laptop is lost, no data is in the laptop, everything is on the cloud. You can also use Google Sheet, like something called uh, Google Sheet was there. I can show you from, from here. 
just a minute yeah if you go over here you will see google has a lot of features like slide and see at the top uh, right section this google sheet i can use excel sheet which i can collaborate with a lot of people i can give them view access i can give them edit access i can give them access to manage it and these are all on cloud and if you don't give an access to somebody no way they can work. start using cloud so these are the free services which are already available to you so you can use these services you don't need to buy anything these are free services they have very good security and people from all around the world can use it you can make an excel sheet of your expenses and somebody from us can check it as long as you have given. okay next part now some people is my mobile safe how do i know it or not what if i have now to understand first of all you you have to install an anti virus even if i'm using an iphone is my iphone safe do i really need to install an anti virus in my iphone if you go to google and search for you will see lot of which are meant for iphone so linux iphone windows whatever android what hack everything so have a ml anti virus for your devices and once you have it scan your mobile i have written a tool called lookout lookout is a tool this is the name of the software you can use it you can install it it's a free one and that tool actually will help you in whether there is any mal mobile otherwise if you keep your mobile idle like putting it in or uh, any uh, video or youtube playing in the background and if you see you are not doing anything with the mobile and your mobile is getting very hot then chance that mobile has been infected by a malware in the mobile with your antivirus and at least keep one antivirus in your mobile any any free paid whatever antivirus you want that will help you out okay i will not go into this i'll come to the, this last two lines of your of my slide the golden rule if you password or do i know whether the site is fake or not the first thing that you check on a site is it is it starting with http every good site with https if it is not with s then i mean it doesn't have a s and only has http and its site is most likely a fake site it's a phishing site don't go for it this type of sms are coming to people see the sms looks like coming from zomato but they have a some award called team viewer now team viewer is a remote access tool it can be a team viewer it can be a tool which, which is called any desk and there are many type of tools like this if you click on this sms this team viewer can get installed number 9 digit pin number with the hacker after that nothing you can do as long as you are to the internet that hacker can do anything with you remotely have access to your mobile while this is called phishing emails now this is from a valid email id how is it possible hackers can manipulate the from field so when you make a type an email that email says you can you can write something to bcc with a blind carbon copy but can you change the from field no but hackers can do that so if i want to send something to snu what i will do i will manipulate the from field and i will put the email id of ina madam so whenever somebody will get that email they will think ina ma'am has sent that email so this can happen with anybody i can send an email from your best friend to you and you will trust that email and then something wrong will happen what can happen emails are coming from the income tax department telling you that you have made a income tax uh, you are charged with an income tax penalty and you must fill up this form that form is an attachment to click on that attachment and you are immediately you are gone you are finished 
what can happen emails can come from a hr department human resource and they say this is the appraisal email you have to fill up the form you click on that form and immediately your device is infected so they are playing lot of tricks and the most dangerous one that they are doing at this moment is doing call spoofing what is call spoofing now you might not know that hackers can make a call from any mobile in our madam's mobile to any other mobile of this of the participants uh, who are attending this session do am i making a call from in our madam's mobile no way i am making a call from my mobile so what i am manipulating in the caller id part i am actually manipulating i am changing my mobile number and i am putting in our madam's mobile number so when the call is coming to you you think that ina ma'am has called while actually the call has come from my mobile i have just manipulated the caller id to her caller id to her mobile i mean the sim number now if you get a call from your best friend or maybe your kids or maybe your father mother i don't know i mean the nearest person even your boyfriend and girlfriend saying that i am into trouble or this person is lying on the road dead and you must come over here please please do not trust that the that phone call might not have come from your boyfriend or girlfriend that person is very well nothing has happened to the person how to know whether it's a fake call just call back if you call back it will go to the right correct person it will not go to the hacker so if you get a suspicious call that something is wrong somebody your nearest friend is lying dead on the road you please come over and take care of him or her just call back and immediately you will know whether it's a fake call or not i have covered cctv now this comes to the selfie mania hackers are not interested in your photo hackers are only interested in the background what are you revealing in the background very very dangerous a lot of confidential information gets revealed by selfie keep in mind this is very interesting now we go to the we 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 are or, uh, putting lot of order uh, placing lot of orders online and sometimes what happen we say we will do a cash on delivery but when the person comes they come up with a pos machine they come up with i think somebody's uh, microphone is not muted uh, can you please mute all microphone yeah can you please mute all microphone i can see i can hear a lot of noise in the background moderator can you please mute the microphones thank you right so uh, if you if you if you somebody ask you for your debit card credit card please do not hand over the card beyond your line of sight why if you hand over the card to a somebody who has come for a collection or just a drop in drop uh, for a uh, i mean a uh, parcel drop and you are uh, you are paying through your card if that person takes a picture of the front and back side of the card he can make any purchase on a foreign site without any otp or pin if i want to make a purchase with any of your credit card on a foreign e-commerce site no pin no otp will be sent to you so you will not come to know about it uh, as soon as the purchase is done so whenever you would make a purchase make sure that you always watch the card so that no photos are taken even card should not be uh, given uh, no card should be handled under the cctv because cctv can also reveal the front and back side of the card and to make a foreign uh, purchase on a foreign site i just need the card number cv number your uh, expiry date and the name these are the only four, four information i need for a credit card to make a purchase and you will never get a pin on a note if you have a wireless card like this where a wireless sign is been given keep it wrapped up in aluminum foil otherwise somebody with a pos can come near you and make any purchase again no otp no pin uh, till i mean up to 2000 rupees now come to a very interesting topic which video conferencing tool should i use is zoom secure is go to meet now interestingly if you go to google suppose you go to google and you type 
i go to google and i want to use zoom so i will type zoom space cve see what i have typed over there zoom space cve any hardware any software you want to use just write the name of the software space and write the word c v and e there is a site called cv details which gives you information about whatever the problem has been identified in for that software or hardware over the year so you will see that zoom has this amount of problem if you want to know is skype secured just go back and write skype and i will press enter and i will go to cv details and i'll see skype has these many problems identified right so if i want to know which is safe i can go to google and find the vulnerabilities of any hardware software using just the name of the software space and cv so if you ask me whether zoom is really secured or not i will say every video conferencing tool is secured if properly configured if not every secure video conferencing tool is not secured so what to do to secure a video conferencing tool you always put an id password i believe a lot of faculties are present over here in singapore what happened when the class was going on was getting conducted some hacker came into the entered that, that uh, classroom they started spreading porn messages and started uh, bullying the children so what happened what is the fault the problem was that no zoom password so if you are having a zoom meeting without password i have a tool which can actually check for all open meetings and just take me and uh, to and uh, i mean i can get entry to any random meeting so always start have a meeting with password no password can bring a lot of trouble second part waiting room always create a waiting room no random person should come and join the meeting directly they should come to the waiting room and from waiting room you manually take him into the meeting important thing is restrict people from seeing each other if people can see each other they can start privately chatting with each other now if you are taking a class that can be a big problem one hacker inside the class and they will start privately chatting with the children and what will happen they can start bullying the people they can start ask i mean they pressurize them to click on a link and the moment that kid clicks on that link he that machine is infected so always make sure that the participants cannot see each other then even if the hacker comes into that room they can only see the organizer or the presenter but not the other participants if you are having a confidential meeting always lock the room you stop the recording feature which is very important because if you if somebody has said something confidential it can go recorded on the cloud and if that gets leaked then that confidential information gets leaked and once you are over with the meeting always take time to end and go or leave that meeting room i myself what i do i always put a uh, my uh, a piece of cloth to cover that webcam this has again happened with some corporate meeting that uh, people were not very well dressed and the camera was suddenly switched on so whenever i start a meeting i always put a cloth on that webcam on my laptop i just covered the camera so if by mistake or unintentionally the camera is switched on that can not uh, put me into trouble and one more thing if some techies are there out here once you were done with the meeting you can always do control alternate dell i'll show you over here what i am doing i am doing control Control Alternate Dell. I go to Task Manager. Now, interestingly, you will see that a lot of things are running in the background, even when I am not using it. If I go to Startup tab, see Microsoft Teams is by who was enabled by. I have gone to Startup. I have designed. so all this video conference on running at the background so just go to task bar and them so when you switch and if you once you hit the videos 
I find the thing is running at this moment, even if I am not using it. I click on enter and click. So make sure that when you are done with the meeting, you go to the taskbar, you press call or enter and kill the process. Uh, this process might be running in the background actually that you you can all very dangerous you don't have a business meeting newspaper cutting that google is sending is listening to your bedroom talk does google is real bedroom talk they're doing alex to it and they are sharing this uh, audio clips with third party and third party has leaked so when you are not using alexa switch it off or when you are having a confidential business meeting keep the alexa in a different room right i okay, and always mute the microphone ensure the recording is not done i think uh, i have two minutes left so more i have covered what was needed to be covered i hope this helped now i will stop and i will i will put it over to ina ma'am or the moderator so that if any question comes up i can i'll be happy to answer uh oindila are there any questions uh, not really i have uh, that can we just give one minute and ask the participants if you have any uh, questions but uh, shonde i only mm -hmm. uh, wonder if i had a tool to virtually uh, see the pulse rate of all the participants yeah. at the end oh, of yeah. your talk i'm sure uh, most of this if not all uh, is pretty high including mine mine is really high now i didn't want to waste your week i mean uh, win the weekend so it's a friday evening still party time even within your home no, all days so are have... weekend days all yeah. days are weekends <laughs> right okay so i've been uh, unfortunately i've been uh, listening to such talks of yours and probably more dreadful things you have said earlier <laughs> which i've heard but uh, i don't know why i'm a lazy guy so i still don't uh, mm -hmm. uh, listen to you i don't abide by your dictums i i'm still uh, using the same password without changing without doing whatever you say but maybe yes now i'll have to right so lockdown time one question we have that's come up uh, mm -hmm. it's by kushal choudhury he is asking sir sh should we make online payment using wifi okay so if you want to make an online payment it is okay but uh, make it from your mobile directly from your mobile don't connect your mobile to a particular wifi just use your uh, normal telephone uh, data like the 4g data in that case it is safe but my main concern is is your mobile secured do you have an antivirus in your mobile do you uh, install games in your mobile do you watch uh, have you gone and clicked on these whatsapp links which comes to you every day then if you have experimented all this from your mobile then i would not prefer that you use that same mobile for doing up online payment that's all we have but uh, is a true caller a safe app when you're saying that uh, you know sms uh, granting permission for sms is really scary am i audible Mr. yes Sengupta? yes Yes, if you're mm -hmm. saying that, so yeah, uh, you are audible. I will give you the point. answer. You can go yes. to Google. Yeah. Okay. So true I, caller generally uh, says that to uh, you, know, you download true caller. The screen. Okay. Mm -hmm. So can you see my screen? Screen. Yes, Mrs. N. Gupta. Yes, we can see your screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. Google. I'm open. Yes. Yes, we can see. We can see. Maybe I will. Not... So I Google to give you. So I have written all. Oh. 
okay my connection is very slow now because of this uh but if you if, if you use your mobile go to google yeah i got it so this is the answer i am showing you live from google one million madam can you see that uh, actually i was on to something else just a moment yes i can yeah true call hack one indian data so i am stopping the screen sharing just to see the feedback oh okay this has also come right so need to get the answer ma'am true call in 2013 so if you are even taking who cares okay the next okay. question that no your voice your voice broke if you are using true call you are actually if uh, did you see that google screenshot yes 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 it is really scary yeah yes really so scary. i only keep those apps in your mobile which you cannot leave without so whenever you install that mobile any app into your mobile just ask one question to yourself can my life continue without this app if the answer is yes don't install okay <laughs> that's easy okay we have the next set of questions uh, yeah. obishek limbo he is asking mm -hmm. sir usually phones come with security patch in every update does that help yes very good question if a security patch comes up immediately install it be it in your mobile be it in your laptop desktop windows patch windows update they are meant to keep your mobile and your laptop secure so never ignore a patch don't think that it will again decrease my bandwidth it will ruin my storage space always install those patches and that will keep you more secure next question uh, i think you've covered this but then it's a repeat question uh, what are the precautions we should keep in mind while having while making online payment from uh, a smartphone sir your phone is smart but uh, in fact our all our phones are very smart but we are not being able to keep up that with that smartness what we people are not smart we play with our mobile we put lot of install lot of unwanted apps over there and we practically make our phone a hackers paradise and then we start doing online transaction over there so that is the problem so if we want to make an online payment from your smartphone keep make sure that your smartphone is not only smart it is also secure don't play with that mobile with that handset uh <laughs> sorobi sinha uh asking uh, should we uninstall true color not really carry on your life will still be safe no problem whatever okay. is done is done oh uh, uh, someone is asking rudro is asking uh, a list of antivirus for mobile i i uh, i think he is asking for free antiviruses for mobile yes i already mentioned one lookout lookout oh, is right. the name of that tool L W O K O U T. Look out is the name of that. If, okay. So if the uh, if we download the antivirus, and then uh, uh, if there is no threat, after uh, we uh, 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 you know scan it, it means that the mobile is safe and can be used. It's a one level of protection, but always. Yeah. use a uh, two factor authentication that will give a second layer of protection uh a zoom meeting uh, somebody uh, named himself ab uh, i don't know what that means but uh, anyway a zoom meeting password is always shared on platforms like whatsapp along with the meeting link in that case does the password add any extra security correct so uh, if even if the password is shared on the Uh, public platforms we have a waiting room concept so if somebody comes they will wait at the waiting room and a moderator if he can identify the person he will be transferred to the original meeting so that waiting room is the second level of defense for a to stop a hacker and once you are starting with a meeting if it's a small i mean meeting with limited people always uh, lock the meeting before you uh, start the meeting start the confidential discussion 
so you can identify everybody and maybe you can switch on the camera to see that whether you are actually talking to the person that you are meant to be having in that discussion so once you identify everybody in that camera then you can switch off the camera and start the discussion after locking the meeting room uh, okay i think one more question has come there's an app called house party mm -hmm. uh, it, it says that it has it has been said uh, okay kushal chakraborty is asking again it said that it steals data even when we, when we are not using it how is it possible not a problem i mean your machine your mobile is switched on so if your mobile is switched on the app is working in the background as i told you that even my uh, that go to meeting i am not using but see it is enabled in the background so it is keeping on doing the work it is what it is doing every uh, key that you was you are pressing it is recording and then they compile that into a small text file and when you are not using your mobile that means your bandwidth is completely unused they will just send that small text file to the hackers email id so your password will get stolen uh is it possible to uh, not question in this here but is it possible that somebody if even if you don't click on the link and mm -hmm. somebody sends a certain text to us mm -hmm. or a whatsapp uh, it's a whatsapp for, forward and mm -hmm. the our phone or uh, the uh, laptop that device that we using can get hacked is it possible yeah it is possible there was one tool which was like uh, the government uh, not the indian government several other governments were using they, they used to send a video and even if you don't download the video do nothing don't even watch the video your phone can get hacked it was used by nsa so there and the second case happened when they sent a missed call uh, on whatsapp so it was a missed call even if you don't pick up the call your entire mobile was hacked but the good news is that these these two tools cost 8 crore rupees so most likely you are not worthy of spending that money if you are a really important person then you have to right. break mobile that yes. that during that uri movie if you have watched that movie you see after every call they used to break the mobile so if you are the home minister you have to do it like that if you are am janta no problem that's all we have uh, ma'am uh no more questions i suppose no. um uh, okay uh, in any case um, shondi what i'm doing is i'm uh, uh, sharing a screen for all the participants is it visible is it visible is it visible no, no ma'am not no ma'am no uh, if uh, there are further questions you may mail it back you have got a mail id with you from where your um, form was sent you can mail back your questions and uh, mr sen gupta will be i'm sure happy to um, uh, answer your query to scare you more <laughs> uh it's not visible na it's not visible no ma'am no ma'am i was just trying to share no, that Uh, mail id once again it's oindila dot m uh, at snu niv dot ac dot in you got this mail id i'm sure i'm typing the mail id in the chat box please have a look yeah please please shondi it was an excellent session frightening you, away everyone we might uh, want to have you few more times if the lockdown continues to keep ourselves more frightened scared and disciplined and nightmares thank you very much uh, nice thank you shandi thank you be safe be uh, in those uh i suppose your area has been uh, declared as a uh, uh, not so safe zone so be safe okay thank you shandeep thank you beer zone we are enjoying it <laughs> good, good, good.
good good anyway i'm back from from here aha uh -huh, pardon come back again correct best correct so i said thank you from uh my side and from indian school of anti hacking lovely and uh, i'm sure uh, some of our students are doing their internships with your company uh, hope uh, they continue with you thank you thank you participants thank you Correct. everyone i i believe uh, thank you thank you with your permission i am logging out yeah thank you thank you bye bye my team can stay back others can uh, leave the platform please Did Shourab join? No, ma'am. I'm not seeing.